Hey guys, what's up? Angle with another tier blue force build on build guide and today I want to show maybe one of the fastest speed farm builds in the game right now. The build can farm the 101 pit in close to 90 seconds to two minutes right now i'm still at like two minute 30 because i still need some more gear but we're gonna talk about the russian claw the poison russian claw and i'm playing the undice with this russian claw version so first of all how does the speed even work because so normally your russian claw only has about four ranks and you have a cooldown after you cast all of them so with an item where you can get up to 15 rushing claw charges, you're going to have about 20 rushing claw charges. So when you're going to roll on your boots, you can crit them. You can also get toxic skin on it and triple crit your toxic skin. This would be the ideal endgame setup with a Harlequin's Crest, but with the Undice Visage, we are needing the rushing claw charges and we're also going to try to maximize our damage through our Undice Visage. Additionally, we gonna have a cleave from Russian Claw that will reset our charges after the third strike when you have at least four ferocity sex. And we're gonna have the four ferocity sex because of the second check or also. These are the commanders of them. If you don't have the 15 Russian Claw charges or even 10 Russian Claw charges, I advise you to double crit them at least. You can also go for the aspect where you get ferocity stacks after you crock and roll enemies because if you don't kill the enemy right away you're gonna have some problems with the jagger one so in order to play with this setup you need the double kit of the russian claw you also want to have the normal russian claw without analyze visage and with hurricane stress please write them in the comments down below that you also want them and in addition to get a more lucky chance with our analyze visage we're gonna get Fists of Fate like hit chance with triple crit and the giga damage comes also from our aspect of interdiction and the crit stacking with our aspect of redirected force. So what else do we need? We need around 133 barrel chain like the other builds and then you also barrel capped. I still don't know about the attack speed cap but you will go for either the hunter or your devourer for more damage and these are the cornerstones of the build. so now let's talk about toxic skin so the cool thing is we're gonna do more damage with toxic skin the more skill points we invested in so ideally you also want to get some toxic skin ranks on here and you can also try to crit them when you have enough rushing cloud charges also you would normally get toxic skin ranks with your wound drinker but we're gonna have the aspect of creeping death here but how does your toxic skin does the big damage now well when you're gonna hit vulnerable enemies it will explode and will deal some portion of your poison crit damage as your vulnerable damage and we're gonna release all of our poison damage with our toxic skin you can even play it with scourge and with our analysis visage and release the big boom with our nox resonance that will scale our damage over time with our crit strike damage or crit strike damage now that we know how we can deal such a big damage how can we have our skills to a 100 uptime because we need armor titan also toxic skin for 100 uptime is also ravager without either the cooldown reduction of hurricane's crest or yakin shell well we have two parts for it first of all we have the aspect of the temple in sessions so after we cast the russian glow we're going to extend the duration of our incarnate skills by up to 10 uh, seconds if you have the max value rank and we're also going to have incarnate cooldown reduction on our rings and our amulet and we're also going to have cooldown reduction on our amulet so that will reduce the cooldown of our skills and in addition we also have the wildfire cleave in here because when we are doing fire damage we have a lucky chance to reduce our cooldown by 1.5 seconds and with the fist of fate this gets enhanced so this is the idea behind them how we're gonna reset our cooldowns we don't play with a shot of the false death here because we're gonna play with Andal's Visage build so we don't have that crazy benefit of a shot of death and we also need this and we can get more resource stack. So now that you know how this build works, how you can achieve the great things with this build and let's go and talk about the details now, the skill read, the gear, the temper and the program board but before we're gonna head in, please leave like and a sub, it would boost my channel tremendously and I would appreciate it a lot and also 
follow me on my Twitch channel where you can also see my new build guides. So now let's talk about our gear and the tempers because these are the most important ones. So for our helm, as I said, we have the Analyze Visage. You can play this with a Harlequin's Crest, but then it's a completely different build. Try to get all such J here and also attack speed and also try to triple crit attack speed for the 100% attack speed in your first bucket. For your chest, as I said, Get the aspect of the temporal incisions, also get dex and max life, SJ and also armor type. It's a third affix because with 4 to armor tide, we can actually have a 100% uptime of armor tide with the rest of the CDR reduction and aspect of temporal incisions. And also for your tempers get better generation because we need it for 133%. And also get maximum resolve stacks and triple crit your maximum resolve stacks. For gloves, really simple like hit chance, fist of fate, and triple crit them. For pants, take the aspect of the interdiction, it will get us our crazy block chance scaling in combination with the aspect of redirected force that scales our crit stack damage. And also get dex, max life as J1. The armor one is a third one and also barrel chain as the tamers and also resolve stacks and also critical resolve stacks. As you can see right now, 35 resolve stacks. For your boots, get dualist aspect so we have more attack speed with our ferocity stacks. And for your affixes, get max life, movement speed or dex and also get the movement speed or dex as your third one. Get your evade resets on your attack and also for time I go for barrel generation and rushing claw charges. Sorry for your third affix, get toxic skin. As I said, if you have enough rushing claw charges, if even with a single hit, then go full into your toxic skin levels. And for a weapon, you have the aspect of redirected force with a quarter stuff, but you can also take a clave that will give you vulnerable damage and for your aspect of redirected force it will give us more crit strike chance the more block chance we're gonna have and through aspect of interdiction we're gonna scale our block chance and for effects is gold for dex and max life at least as a j and a third one for damage over time for more under switch damage and also for timers normally get crit strike damage as also primary checker spirit hall potions here because we're gonna do more damage with our Primal Checker Spirit Hall and also get Crit Psych. I can, could get it. And you can also take as an alternative and test it out with the Wu Shinak Pa. So apparently it double dips and it gets a crazy damage when you have the Supremacy up. So triple crit the Supremacy and get huge damage boost for your amulet. Take the Concealed Aspect. Why? Because it apparently double dips with our entire Visage. So you're going to get double bonus. It is really powerful. Also for your affixes get dex sga max life and then also cooldown reduction instead of nourishment for your temper get crit strike damage as also maximum resolve stacks and crit your resolve stacks you can also have in kind of cooldown reduction if you still need but it should be enough for your first thing get the fail sooth says aspect it will shatter our enemies and will do great amounts of damage also for your affixes go for dex max life and crit strike damage and for tempers Go for crit strike damage in incarnate cooldown reduction. For a second ring, go for aspect of creeping death. So this is really wild because of our fist of fate, we have so many crowd control effects, and you can also additionally could take your scourge, so you're gonna fear the enemy, so you would have even more of your damage scaling, and then we're gonna have up to I, I don't know 80 or 100 percent more damage multiplier, and this is really big. So take the aspect of your creeping death. Also, fire fixes go and get. Dex and max life as your GA and also get a like hit chance to make your enemies vulnerable so we don't have to take the exploit cliff and for your tempers go for incarnate cooldown induction and also your crit sack damage I still have an old ring. For your rune world sack the Yule key cast a skill with the cooldown it's really powerful because we constantly cast a skill with the cooldown and also the invoke to draw its earthen bulwark for, for my barrier for my damage and for a second rune world take the Xoxal so after in, we invoked a skill from another class, we get more max life and for games get better generation. So you get to your battle bonus cap of 123% and also for your jewelry, get a sapphire, ruby and a amethyst. So you can get at least to your resistance caps. You will still need to take the soothing spices and also the one that will get your armor. For spirit hall, we're gonna have the checker in the main and a checker as a second. We're gonna have the checker as a second because we still need it for the ferocity stacks. So we 
don't run out with the rushing claw. If, if you can manage to get rushing claws reset without a check or a split hole, go for the gorilla checker hall. And for a skill re, just take four points so you will get two of your focus skills. They're completely irrelevant. For your focus skills, go for one point ravager is also the replenishing ravager. Max out all of your three passive points here and restrain power. Mirage and Swift, it will give you a huge amount of damage boost. Also makes our toxic skin as also the cliffs for it. And you need to vulnerable the enemies and also get one point of focal point so you can take three points of the apex for more damage. For defensive skills, take four points in the armor tide. It's also one point of reinforce armor tide, three points of perseverance for more damage reduction from our resource decks. Also one point in the passion guards, so we're gonna get a block chance. Also three points of nourishment for more poison damage. Then get one point of counter attack. It's also reinforced counter attack, so we're gonna get more crit strike damage. As I said, you can also take scourge and also the adaptable scourge for more damage also with the creeping death. This uh, change I maybe will consider. For your potions and skills, get resilient, more max life, more damage, so it's good because of our shield, it scales of our max life. And also take one point of Russian Claw, it's also invasive Russian Claw. One point only because we're gonna do our damage with our Undyce Visage. And also three points of potence, we're gonna do more Undyce Visage damage. For your ultimate skills, take five points into the Hunters, also the Cliffs Fight. And also three points into the Sluge, Bramacy. And for your key passive, take the Noxus Resonance. For your Resonance, you can take the Subo, you can either go for this route and you will get more crit sack damage, 25%, or you can also go the other route with Molotov, so you get more damage over time and also more like hit chance. This one is also really good for my crit sack. And for reinforcement, go for your Rahir for Provoke, for damage reduction. For Paragon board, take the Colossal in your first, but it's really important. You only need 25 points. It will double it with our resource stack, so we're gonna a huge amount of damage. For second board, go for the revealing cliff, so we're gonna deal more damage against our knockdown enemies. And also get the fitness cliff and try to get as many deck slots into it, so you get huge amount of crit strike damage. See, I have 35%. For next board, go for the vicious shield as also your spell cliff, as I said. Also get here up to 110 attacks, it will give you another 500% crit strike damage. Also take the luck hit chance notes in your second and your third board, it will help you a lot. For your second last board, take your convergence for more damage overall and also the bane cleave for more poison damage and your chance to double deal your damage, also try to max your strength with it, and also some non-physical damage in here, and for your last part, take the sapping node for more damage and vigor generation, and also go for wildfire so we can set our cooldown. We're still new for this build, and around 2 or 250 paragon board, just get your cliffs and your legendary nodes up first, and then max out fitness, and then max out spirit decks, then fitness, and then Bane and then the rest. So I hope I could show a really cool build that is really nice and one of the best, if not the best speed farm setup right now. You can clear 101 pit in extreme absurd short amount of time. It is really good. And if you like this video, please leave a like and a sub, boost my channel tremendously. And until the next and until the next video, bye. And also, and also if some question, please please ask them in the comments down below.